Hey guys, this is Laura. Um, excuse the music in the background. It's really fun. Samuel's having fun. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Huh? You like that? Yeah. So, anyway, he's having a good time. But this is about pizza, and I am doing things totally out of order from the way I usually do them because uh, I want to have things done early tonight. So, um,. Pizza is hard for me because I cannot have any pre-made pizza crust. They all have soy in them. Um, I can't have cheese or anything like that. And I can't just use store-bought pizza sauce because it all has onion and garlic, which makes Samuel Free Flex worse. So, what I've already done is I blended three large tomatoes. And I just did them whole. I didn't worry about skinning them or taking the skin off. I didn't worry about taking the seeds out. It's just whole and in there. And let me go over to my pantry. It's a mess, guys. It's total chaos in here. I gotta keep Sam out from getting in. Let's see. Salt! Got it! Okay. Got the salt. So, what I am doing is I am adding some salt to my sauce. And I just guess um, to taste maybe I mean, depending on how big your tomatoes are and how much, I, I just would taste it. Like, put it in, let it cook a little bit, and taste it. And then I use a lot of basil. I probably use, oh, let me show you. I probably use two tablespoons of basil, at least. And then maybe another tablespoon of oregano. Um, and then, see, it's bubbling. You can, I don't know if you can see that. Bubbles! So, <laughs> sorry guys. Um... So, it's bubbling. That's right. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it bubble for just a little bit. What you want is you want the liquid to kind of cook down. And if you want to do this fast, you just leave it on like medium heat the whole time. But I have time, so I'm going to let it bubble here for maybe like five minutes. And then I'm going to turn it down to a simmer um, for, I don't know, maybe an hour, a little more, give or take. And I'll just keep tasting it and, and see what seasonings, if I need to add more or something different. If I add something different, I'll let you know. But, um, so yeah, this is three tomatoes, about two tablespoons of basil, dried, probably half a teaspoon of salt, and about a tablespoon of oregano. And like I said, I've got seeds in here and everything. So, that's simmering. What I've also done is I have cut up my toppings. Now, we just used whatever toppings we have. You can use what you want, but tonight we're gonna add spinach, which is already in the fridge. And this is green pepper, mushrooms. And I'm gonna cut up the zucchini. We're gonna put that on the pizza. Arlen will probably add cheese to some of his. I might add pineapple to some of mine, we'll see. So that is it for the stuff that goes on top. And when I start working on the crust, I will get back to you. The great thing, I just recently found this crust and it's fantastic because it's half of it is whole wheat and half is white flour and it's no rise. So my recipe I used before I had to make it like two hours ahead and everything but you don't have to do that with this. So it's fantastic and it tastes even better than my old recipe. So that's the toppings. I'll get back to you when it comes to the crust. Okay, I am working on my crust now, and you'll want one cup of really hot water, um, a tablespoon of yeast. You don't want quick rice. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt for quick rice. I've not tried it with quick rice, but you want a tablespoon of yeast. Um, Arlen, do you remember how much sugar you got? What? I don't remember how much sugar this is. A teaspoon. A teaspoon of sugar. A teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of salt. Thank you, dear. A he got these ready for me. So, the, um, and then two tablespoons of oil, one and a half cup of whole wheat flour, and one cup of white flour. And then you're going to want to keep some extra of either of these. Um, what I did in the recipe is I switched these two, and then I use white flour if any flour needed to be added. And then I use white flour to flour my pan. So, you want to start by getting your yeast and you want to put your sugar in your water that will help your yeast activate and then this is a tablespoon so I'm just going to add this whole thing and I will show you what happens next.
And I think I told you, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. That's it. All right, I have put my flour and my salt in here. I guess it would help if I press the button. You do not have to have a stand mixer. Hold on a second. There, that required two hands. <laughs> so, um, you do not have to use a stand mixer. You can do this by hand if you want, but it's going to be way easier if you have a stand mixer. And even if you wanted, if you have a bread machine, um, you could just mix it in there if you wanted on the dough setting, but you don't have to let it rise or anything. So, I am just mixing my dry ingredients, and I am going to add my oil. And let that mix in a little bit. Eee. Um, and then I'm gonna let my yeast sit for just a few more minutes. But see how it's looking all frothy? You can see from the side there. It is working. So um, I'm gonna add that when it's just a little frothier. It'd be okay now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that and I'm going to get this dough mixed. And what you do once you add the water is you just add as much flour as you need until the dough is not sticky anymore, like it's not going to stick to your hand. So I will show you. I need that. I need that. I'm cleaning the kitchen. He's so great. Um, that's a pizza stone. He's going to put it away because he likes to clean up. He's so wonderful. Um, but um, I am going to get this to the consistency that's good to work with and then I will show you what happens next. Okay, once you get your pizza crust on your pan, you are just gonna use your hands. I, I flour the top of it first to make sure that I don't stick to it. Um, but you're just gonna spread it out to the size that you like. If you like a thinner crust, you're gonna spread it out farther. If you like a really thick crust, um, then you'll have a smaller pizza. Just spread it till it's gonna rise some. So spread it to about what you think. And um, when you get it where you want it, you're gonna want to, which I'm probably gonna do it a little bit more, but I'll show you this real quick. When you get it to the where you want it, just pinch it up around the edge. That keeps your sauce in and that gives you a little bit of a crust when you get it out. So once you get this all ready, you, I think that's actually pretty good. This is a really big pan compared to what you would normally use, so it's not going to fill up the whole pan. But you just go around and pinch the edges all quick like. And this is the sauce that we ended up with. The liquid um, cooked out of it. If you if you still got some liquid in it though, that's fine. Just um, use something slotted to strain it. But this is our pizza sauce. So I'm just going to spread this out over the pizza. And I'm going to spread this and get our toppings on and I will show you our pizza before we put it in the oven. This is our pizza. I pile it high. I don't know. Let me show you profile view. I put tons of stuff on here. I believe that pizza is a fully balanced meal if it's done properly. And it doesn't have to be unhealthy at all. And it's yummy that way. This is Arlen's part. He has spinach and zucchini and mushrooms. We usually have olives, but I forgot to get them. We have pepper, and I have some pineapples on some of my part. And we are going to pop it in the oven. And it goes in the oven for about 15 to 30 minutes. I know that's a big span. It depends on your oven, and it depends on how long you want it to cook. So here it goes. Here is the finished pizza, and Arlen wanted me to uh, say I forgot about his cheese. On his part, he's very happy about his cheese, and yeah, I can't have that, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but this is the pizza. Let me show you the crust. The crust didn't rise quite as much as it usually does this time. I think I didn't let the yeast rise long enough. Usually it takes about five minutes, and I only let it rise for like two before I added it, but it still looks all right. And so I will show you what this looks like all cut up um, when our plate's ready to eat. But this is the yummy, yummy, yummy pizza.